See, once you start a, a debate as to what is good and what is bad, this debate can go on forever without coming to a conclusion. Obviously, you have debated this within yourself and around yourself for many years and still there's no conclusion. And believe me, people have been debating this for thousands of years and still there is no conclusion. Essentially, it boils down to this, what I do is good, what you do is bad. <laughs> that extends to the society, to politics, to various things. Whoever is in a position of power, who is in a position of dominance, they may not spell it out so crudely, but in so many ways they're telling you, what I do is right, what you do is wrong. So ultimately it becomes about whoever is in a state of advantage is right, whoever is in a state of disadvantage is wrong. Well, that principle is the basis of all exploitation and all the ugliness that you see on the planet. So instead of starting a debate on what is good and what is bad, I think what we need is what is appropriate and what is inappropriate to our times, to our society, to our existence here, to our level of economics, what is right and what is appropriate and what is inappropriate. Tomorrow if our conditions change, their appropriateness changes, then there will be no clashes. Constantly the clash between the previous generation and this generation, between one human being and the other human being is, your ideas of right and his ideas of right are so different. Parents and children are fighting, administration and people are fighting, management and union is fighting, simply because your ideas of good and bad are very different and it's always different. Within the family, between the husband and the wife, basic unit of the family, their ideas of right and wrong are very different. So once you enter that space, you are entering into an endless controversy, no possibility of a solution. But if you look at appropriateness of action, then we can arrive at what is the appropriate thing to do in our society, for our conditions, for our limitations.